But it's time for D Street Chatter. Uh, Nimesh has been working the phones uh, and he's got the, all the market intel. Nimesh, what are you picking up? Hi, Prashant. You know, very strong day. It's a good start to the fresh series as well, right? But again, it looks like the, the momentum is clearly with the Bulls. I guess all eyes will be on the election outcome this Sunday. So that could be a potential you know, trigger for, the, for, the, for a bit of volatility, so to speak, if that has to happen on a Monday morning. So that's something which is to be very, very carefully watched out for. But I guess, uh, you know, what doesn't need a moment or any reason or, or, or any trigger is the PSUs. Big momentum continues in the PSU basket. Again, uh, the, the power pieces are buzzing in trade. PFC, REC, Gale, uh, you know, all are buzzing on, on, on good volumes today. Uh, just, an, uh, just an interesting feedback that I picked up from when I, when I spoke to some dealers in the dealing room. I understand uh, a large AIF has got a, uh, got a fresh inflow, uh, you know, uh, into that fund and, and that's deploying money into the PSU name. So that, poten that potential explains the kind of move we have seen in the PSU stocks in the last many days and that's the case today as well. Uh, on the other side, a bit of profit booking the auto names. So Ashok Lenin is down 3%. Hero Motocop, despite a double upgrade from Bofa, is down 2% so clearly some signs of profit booking there uh, in the auto names in today's trade. And also the, the, broader, the broader market continues to outperform so the mid-cap index is up another 1% and huge momentum in, in many of those mid-cap names. But clearly I guess from a trigger point of view, all eyes will be on the Sunday, uh, you know, the outcome which, uh, the election share outcome which will have an impact on Monday morning in our trade. Hmm. Okay, okay, what about uh, stocks, sir? Nimesh? Well, in terms of individual names, the first stock on my list today is Canterbell. Uh, we normally don't talk about the stock, but the stock is up 12% on huge volumes. Actually, the volumes is largely because of uh, the large block. There is a block of 10 lakh shares. I understand some clutch of large H&I investors bought in today's uh, block deal. And, then, and after that, seen a big up move in that stock. So that's the first one. The second name is Shiram Properties. Been consolidating in a narrow range, but uh, uh, I understand that uh, you know, the, uh, the large, very large block is, is around the corner. So the large block deal is, is likely to happen very soon in Shriram properties. The third name is signed. Uh, within the IT names, this is one stock which stood out today purely on buy flows at FIDS. So it looks like some institutional interest is back in signed at these levels. And the last one is Inox Wind. Been buzzing in the last many days, even in today's trade, it's up 5% on good volumes as well. Uh, I guess the street is now anticipating some large order wins uh, for, for this company very soon. So that's keeping the sort excited. Mm, okay, got that. So that's lots of stocks. Nimesh, you want to discuss one more which is buzzing today and that is Z. I don't know what to say. The saga is endless, right? We don't know what's going on. The last, in terms of the legal standing, the last was, I think, the relief that, uh, uh, you know, the, the current promoters got yeah. uh, from the from SAT, Securities Appellate Tribunal. So what is the latest in the merger? Well, you know, Surabhi, uh, leave, apart the, uh, leave apart the media reports and, and any sort of speculation. We don't know uh, what, which way, you know, whether it's Puneet will stay, Puneet won't stay. That, that something is, is a little more speculation. But just put to, put, you know, just to give a context on where it stands, I understand the Z-Sony merger is in the last leg. Whether it will go or don't go, we don't know. But as things stand from a procedural point of view, it's in the last leg. So what to watch out for uh, you know, in, the, in terms of next step? What I understand, the next step to watch out for would be the uh, 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 submission to uh, Ministry of Broadcasting uh, for the approval of the merger. So that has to be done by Sony. Uh, the buzz on the street is maybe you'll see that happening uh, early next week. So that's, that maybe explains a bit of excitement uh, in the stock in, in today's trade. So that is one thing which is pending, which is uh, an application to MIB, which is Ministry of Broadcasting. Once that approval comes in, then they have to file for ROC. So for ROC, uh, there are two requirements, the MIB approval and uh, the audited numbers, which are already out, right? The quantity numbers are out. So the audited numbers are there, the MIB approval is pending. Once that comes in, then they have to file for ROC and give a roadmap on which day the stock will get delist uh, for, for a brief period and again relist uh, you know, in, a, in the new avatar. So, uh, as things stand, as far as Z is concerned, the, the immediate next figure to watch would be, uh, you know, when the when when they file to MIB, and even for the MIB, uh, you know, uh, permission, they'll have to mention, uh, you know, all the details, including the board of directors, which means they have to mention the name of the managing director as well in the proposed merge entity. So, I guess from that, from a trigger point of view, that is something to try, to watch out for, as to when, uh, you know, they file for MIB, and once they file for MIB, then the approval will be uh, something to watch out for. Okay, all right. Uh...